Yeah. Down he go. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, he worked it perfect. Oh yeah. Oh me. Yeah. How about that? This is the last weekend. This is the same place that I took a bird the first day of the season with my bow. And I was able to slip in here, put this blind up, and he came in perfect, strutting right there, shot him at 30 yards, maybe 20. It's kind of hard here to see without the, with the blind here, so. But I ranged him at 40 when he was strutting out there, and then he came in right there at 20 yards, bam! Put it on him. I wish I would've brought the bow today, but I didn't have much time to hunt this morning. Um, and that's kind of been the, the story of my whole year. Um, just have a six month old baby, um, you know, trying to get out there as much as I can. I probably hunt five times. But you know what? God bless me first morning and now this is the last weekend. I think we have next week uh, Memorial Day and a couple of days after that. But thank you, God. Thank you for the for that gift this morning. I actually I snuck in here. He gobbled while I'm setting my blind up, and I knew exactly where they're gobbled here or where they're roosted here. And when I was here the first morning, there was gobblers gobbling all all around there or right here and then I was able to call that one in um, that I shot with my bow while this one he was roosted right here probably within 125 yards probably they look roost in some pines right there so I was able to sneak in here set the blind up put my decoy out he gobbled actually before I put my decoy out and I was able to slip out there and I put the decoy here at about 10 yards um, just to get it out there because I'm sitting in the middle of a field. But man, God bless me. I appreciate that, God. Thank you so much for the blessing that you give us. Let's go check them out, guys. So here we are again, just in this little ravine. I haven't been back here since I shot the one the first morning. Thought I'd see if I could get my, get another one in here. And there he is. Look at that big guy. That stoned him too. Good spurs on him. Pretty good beard on him too. Nice rope. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, God. There we go. There's my second bird of the 2022 season here in Pennsylvania. I'm now tagged out. It's been kind of a year of not being able to get out much. I shot one the first morning there with my bow. Um, as you guys can go check that video out too. And then I was able here to slip in here. This is, we just have like, I think four days left, including today here in Pennsylvania. And I was able to slip in here this morning and get her done. As, as I said, I was putting up my blind and he gobbled for the first time, um, just in some pines right down here. Um, and I heard him fly down my way and he come up on the knoll here and he saw the decoy and he worked in just perfect. You saw him come in real beautiful, um, strutting, um, spitting and drumming, pretty awesome. Mill Creek Valley game calls, um, we had those. I have the G Reaper here um, this morning. I believe that's what it's called. I just gave him a, a few clucks and purrs and he came right in. Um, they, they tend to want to be in this little ravine here, um, this little low spot in this field. It's kind of hidden from the rest of the field. So they love to be in here, and I know that. Um, hadn't been back here since the first morning, but 
Boy, I'm glad I came this morning. Um, he was fired up, so thanks for watching, guys. Definitely like this video and subscribe to our channel. We got about 20 more like, uh, subscribers to 500, and we're going to do a giveaway at that time. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, stick around. More Total Impact Outdoors.